All right, in this video, the second video in the Extended Site series, I show how you can change out the site content using eMarketing Spots. Because Extended Sites inherit from the base site, we simply need to add an activity to the current market eMarketing Spot for our Extended Site. Let's go ahead and get started. All right, so we're in our Madison's Ware site that we created in the last video. And what we're going to do now is we're going to go ahead and change out the marketing spots that you can see on the screen because currently they're filled with things like furniture and items basically from the whole store. And what you can do is you can hit the tilde bracket sign to show you what marketing spots you need to work with. And here we can see highlighted homepage row one ads, homepage row two ads, and homepage row three ads. So let's go ahead and jump over to uh, the management center and change those out with apparel. So here we are in the management center and what we want to do is we want to go over to the marketing section. And we want to select our store, our new store, Madison's Ware. And we're primarily going to be working with e-marketing spots. And here's some of the spots that were that are on the site. And if we'll notice, here's some of the ones that we need to go ahead and change in, in this tutorial. Homepage row one ad and basically homepage row three ad. Row two was blank, so we're just going to go ahead and leave it blank. So the way you work with marketing spots is you set up activities. So if you can right click on the marketing spot, you can show the activity list. And this is the currently enabled activity for the home page. And if we go ahead and open that, we can see that the e-marketing spot is home page row one ad. And then the recommended content is the home page main ad content. And what we want to do is create a new marketing spot to point to apparel. So we go back to the home page one row ads and what we're going to do now is just copy the content from another activity for the apparel section. So let's bring up the activity list for the apparel page ads. Open that up and you can see here it's just a basic web activity with a spot and then recommended content. So what we want to do is we want to copy all of this recommended content to the clipboard. And it copies it all to the clipboard and we're good to go. Now we can just go ahead and create a new web activity and it will be on content recommendation. And we will name it uh, Apparel store home page ads. And we will give this a date of today through 999, just basically be forever. And we'll select the marketing spot for home page row one ads. And then the content will be the same content from the apparel category that we copy to the clipboard. And we'll just drag that in there. And we can save and close this. If we go back now to the home page row one ads, we should see our new activity. And we do. So now what we can do is go ahead and activate this. And now it's active. And we should be able to see uh, the new ads on the site. So we open up the web browser and you can see here we go to the home page. And our new marketing spot is now clothes related. So in the next video, we'll show how we can replace the recommended products and the other uh, marketing spots um, with uh, apparel-related uh, advertisements.
Be sure to visit uh, planetwebster.net for everything Planet Webster, from jobs, feeds. Uh, you can see here we offer 57 feeds aggregated from the world of Webster. Go to planetwebster.net today. And also make sure you take some time to visit my blog where I write about all kinds of different things about software and software related uh, technologies. Uh, I primarily focus on things like Java, WebSphere, Eclipse. So go ahead and check that out too. Thanks a lot.